float on. Okie dokie. I'm going to try to play through some gameplay here whilst I have some little conversation. And so here's some of the things that I want to make sure that I cover right away. As you can see, I've got my stick cam down in the center of the screen. I had it down in the corner and I was showing the avatar of the ship, or anyways, the third person view of the ship. And the reason I was doing the third person view was not because that's how I was normally playing the game, because it's not really necessary to have the extra field of view, it's just a slightly pulled back field of view. Instead, what you really get from that is that because I could not show the sticks, it gave a way to somehow see the controller inputs. So then when you're watching, you would be able to actually see what maybe I was doing with the controller by seeing how the engines would throttle. So now that I have the stick cam, it's not actually necessary for you to see the engines throttle in order to try to figure out what I might be doing with the sticks because I can actually put the sticks right down there in the screen. And at some point after that I thought, you know, why don't I just try to play from within the cockpit again, which is where I was playing, anyway. And I'll just put the stick cam right down there where the cockpit is blocking up the whole screen anyway. So that's where we are here right now, is that the stick cam is down in the center of the screen. And the only thing that you can't see is some instruments you don't care about anyway, because I don't even know what's on those instruments. I don't even use those instruments. I think they're just mostly there for something to look at. Every cockpit is a little bit different. Also, there's a few different versions of ships in this game, and they all sound different, but... None of the sounds are really making me happy here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and say it. That I think that from within the cockpit, you would be able to hear the engines roaring, and mostly that's about it. And I would kind of like to hear the engines roaring, and there's a lot of engines on the ship. There's a primary rear engine, and then there is a whole bunch of reaction control thrusters. And those things on Earth are really loud. So you can hear them from a really long ways away. And the way I see it is that if these you were inside of a little tiny boat like this and those reaction control thrusters were firing away, you would definitely hear it. And so I think that instead of kind of having a sound that means that you're going faster, if it just roared with the main engine and crackled and poppled with the reaction control thrusters, that would be better. So the ultimate purpose of this video is to try to show some gameplay with the Ford G Stick controller. And so I'm pretty sure that by now I would have lost anybody who's trying to look at that. Well, there's two problems. The one problem is, is that I'm not very good of a pilot. And the other problem is, is that I'm rambling about the sounds in the game, which are probably far off in the background. And I am not sticking to a program of things that I need to get into the video. So I did consider making a list, or presentation, or list of bullet points, that I'll just go straight down the list of bullet points, talking points, to make sure that I eventually get a video that, when I show the video, it's what I want people to see when they're trying to figure out what's going on here with the game controller. So the situation with the game controller is that I am the only one that I've ever seen in the world, or on the internet, that has such a game controller. And what is special about this game controller is that it has four joysticks. So if you're not sure of what's going on in the bottom of the screen, what is going on in the bottom of the screen is that I have a mirror and a webcam and you can see with the plus signs the thumbsticks and in the mirror you can see the trigger finger sticks, or I'm calling them first finger sticks. 
And the sticks for the first fingers are each controlling only one axis of control, while the thumb sticks are each controlling two axis of control. And the reason that I have that arrangement is because it is easier to fly. Because I'm already quite good with my thumb sticks, but I'm still kind of a lot more green with my finger sticks. So I never had a forced joystick game controller before because actually you also can probably see that I had to make this one. But I did have triggers on the game controller and I was using triggers and then I was also using the buttons under the thumbsticks to try to get all six axes under some of the some kind of axes of control and play space games, but I just never liked having the buttons under the thumbsticks which would drive the throttle. And ultimately, I decided the only way to go was to get more joysticks. So the advantage of only having one axis on each joystick on the bottom is that you don't have to be quite so coordinated because you can kind of be sloppy. As long as you're pulling in the direction of up or down on my left stick or left and right on the right stick, then you're going to end up causing the motion that you want to cause. And it doesn't really matter if you accidentally go wobbling the wrong way because there isn't any game function that you're going to affect when you do that. So by being able to be a little bit sloppy, I don't need to be anywhere near as coordinated with those fingers and I can get basically fully functional on those joysticks right away. So in the future, I do plan to move all of those two axes, the roll and throttle, over onto my left stick. And then what my plan is, is that some games you can control either a turret or the view. And then what I'm going to do is have the view slash turret over here on the right stick. And that way I'll be able to, uh, while I'm trying to fly, it actually would be nice at this game because then I'd be able to keep my nose pointed and keep my main engine pointed, but I'd be able to look around, which is not a feature in Orbital Racer. Alright, this is getting to be kind of a long game, but because I already goofed it anyways and I'm just basically going for a bit of gameplay here, I'm just going to go ahead and play it out either to 10 laps or until the, and the game kind of freezes up. So what I'm trying to achieve here is that you can watch the ship point around and try to navigate using primarily the main engine and then you can watch my joysticks in action. That's my goal. So in every moment there might be an opportunity where for you to have this on and you can be seeing how the ship is flying and the controller inputs and then you can, I guess, decide that, you know, you might want a four joystick controller. And maybe you can even manufacture these things because you're working in a setting that does this sort of thing. And maybe you will build one and put it on the market and tell me about it so that I will go and buy it. here I'm on lap number 10 so these are the last few hoops so as you can tell